Hey everyone, welcome back to Rust Programming. Today, we are going to learn a little bit more about references, what are references, borrowing, and dereferencing. As we know, in Rust, there are two types of memories. One is stack, one is heap. And when you declare a variable using this format, like box new or something like string.from, it stores the value in the heap. By default, all the variables in Rust are immutable. So when you pass from one to another, you lose the reference to the original one. So what is referencing here in this context? References are non-owning pointers. Non-owning means they do not own the data that they are pointing to. The piece of information they are pointing to, they do not own it. It's a pointer, but they do not own it. Let's see this program, it'll make it clear. <clears throat> so you have a function main. So you've defined a variable m1, and you're initializing it with the string hello. There is m2, you're initializing it with the uh, string word, okay? What you're doing is you're passing both the variables m1 and m2 to this method greet. Now notice here how we are passing it. You're using an ampersand sign, okay? So here, what does this mean? This ampersand sign means when the variables say here g1 and g2, or when this function greet is invoked, g1 and g2 are nothing but they are just references to m1 and m2. Look here. See here. So when the program comes here in this println, g1 and g2 point to m1 and m2 respectively. And m1 and m2 point, m1 points to hello, m2 points to world. So therefore, it gets the reference of m1 and m2. It is borrowing a reference. So G1 and G2 neither own M1 or M2, neither do they own or point hello world or to this data in the heap. So once this uh, function is complete and it's returned here, when it's at this point, let S M1 and M2, what happens here is M1 and M2 points here uh, to hello world, okay? But notice here in the stack, the reference to G1 and G2 is gone. That frame is gone, okay? Why? Because G1 and G2 are no longer in the scope. Important takeaway from here is how to get a reference to a variable. If you do not want to duplicate, how do you get a reference to a variable? So ampersand sign is used to get a reference to a variable. So when it is passed, Neither hello world is passed, nor m1, m2 is passed, but a pointer to m1 or a reference to m1 and m2 is passed. So the expression ampersand uh, m1, it, you, it, it is used to create a reference to m1, okay? What is dereferencing? So when you reference, you have to dereference. Normally, Rust does it internally. You don't have to do it like referencing and dereferencing. Normally, uh, Rust does it by itself, but at times you will have to do it in your code too. So, how do you dereference a pointer? So, when you there are two ways. One one is here. So, let's say we are declaring a variable x, which is mutable. And we initialize it using box. So it's initialized in the heap with value one. Go to the next line. What, what's happening? You're initializing another variable A. Now see, what are you doing? You're not doing pointing it to X. It's not ampersand. It's star X. <clears throat> star X means it reads the heap value of X, whatever X is pointing to and assigns it to A. So after this statement, 
A will also have the value one. Okay. A is see A is stored in the stack because it's not declared using box or a uh, string colon cost. Okay, so A resides in the stack area of the memory. Notice the next statement. Again, this means the value of X in the heap plus equal to one, which means you're adding one to it. So after the statement, whatever the area in the heap that X was pointing to will have the value two. Look at the next statement. You're declaring another variable r1 and now here see it's a reference to x it's borrowing okay so if you look here r1 is just a reference to x now see here double d referencing two different two d references get us back to the heap value see r1 was initially a reference to x so if you have to dereference x, you do double ampersand, or oh, sorry, double asterisk. Okay. Now after the statement, b will have the value two. See, it's not a pointer. You're directly accessing the value. So double asterisk. Now this will work only if x, it's if r1 itself is a pointer, itself is a reference. Okay. So what it'll do is first it'll get here, get the value whatever x is or rather whatever the x is pointing to, the reference to x, and then again star x, as we said, whatever x points to the value in the heap. So that's how you get the b is initialized to two. So here see, b is also in the stack area. Another way, a reference pointing to whatever the value of x is. So see here directly, r2, is pointing to the area of the heap where the value of x is stored. One more time, what you're doing is whatever, see star x means what? Star x is the value two in the heap. Ampersand means a reference to this area of the heap. So R2 is pointing to this area of the heap where the value of x is stored. What you're doing in C3, whatever the value of R2 is, where, where R2 is pointing to. So only one dereference is needed. So different ways of dereferencing it. I'm keeping this video short because there is a lot to grasp. And then later in the videos, we'll read about permissions, like about mutating variables, non-mutating variables, how to fix them, a lot more to come, okay? So one more time, if you have to pass variable, a reference to a variable, you use ampersand sign. So when you use ampersand, what happens is, <clears throat> whichever function you point it to or pass the reference, it points to the variable in the stack, okay? It does not point to the value. And ampersand has a uh, this special meaning star x is dereferencing means not a reference but a value where this variable is pointing to okay so this was referencing and dereferencing dereferencing mostly rust does on its own so you will barely do it but it's good to know when during compilation of your program if you face any errors or anything all right more to come in the future lectures, stay tuned. Thank you for listening.